All right, here we go in three, two, one, and mark. Welcome back to the Navy Sports Magazine. Time to talk with Navy Senior Point Guard Tillman Dunbar. And now that the journey has come to a conclusion from a basketball standpoint, as, as you look back over four years of, the, of playing Division I basketball, you came out of a great high school program, played in a ton of big games. What was the Division I experience like for you here at the Naval Academy? Uh, it was great. You know, it was an honor and a blessing to be able to, like you said, play Division One basketball because I know a lot of kids, a lot of guys who are very talented but never got that opportunity. Um, so, yeah, it's just a blessing and honor. Um, I mean, it didn't end the way I wanted it to end, you know, but still got a great experience out of it throughout the four years. Uh, you played on a great team at Paul the Six, so you played with a lot of great players. The, the fact that you got to play on such a special team in high school with so many guys that have used basketball as a vehicle to go in and, and get educations, play college basketball. What was that group like for you, Paul the Six? Because you guys did some things that, you know, that teams named DeMatha and, and St. John's and all they were supposed to be doing in Gonzaga, but you all really did it and put Paul the Six on the map. Right, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, same. It was just an honor. Like, it's, it's crazy because it's we had the same kind of experience as I've had a Navy kind of like taking the program from not a lot of respect and not a lot of winning to uh, by my senior year, a lot of expectations and having all that stuff and just shocking the world. It was just, it's just crazy whirlwind of a ride to be able to um, go through that with those guys, you know. Those guys would be my brothers for life because of the journey we went through and uh, building that program. And um, I feel the same way about my teammates here at the Naval Academy. I was going to say for you, Will, and Kendall Noor, from where the program was when you entered to where it is right now, can, can you kind of put into perspective how much things have changed and to leave the program with 19 wins mm -hmm. and, and really set them up for what should be you know, good basketball for the future here now and put the program back on the map? Yeah, I mean, you know, when we came in, you know, if we got a win, it'd be kind of, you know, Exciting. Oh, I know. Yeah, I, I called was, a lot of those games when be, you first got here. <laughs> It'd be shocking if we got to win. And <laughs> now, you know, if we're not winning on a night basis, it's kind of upsetting. You know, even though we had 19 wins, you know, we still weren't satisfied with that. And uh, just to see that growth and improvement and the, you know, I was talking to one of the coaches uh, the other day and then talking about how now we have expectations. You know, like next year we're expecting – to win a championship, you know, but expecting to be top three in the league. Like, it's not like, oh, yeah, we hope we get that. You know, if we get that, it would be great. Um, if we have a winning record, it would be great. If we're over five, no, like, now we have expectations. And just to be able to build that, you know, with Will and uh, Kendall is just amazing. Um, and like I said, we wanted to get the championship this year, but I have full confidence in the, the next group of guys that are still on the team that they'll be able to get it done. Next year. I was going to say, I remember going to places like Presbyterian and not winning and scoring 42 points uh, along the way. To see a guy like Will come as long away, because Kendall, Kendall really did contribute early in his career. His shooting was terrific upon arrival here at the academy. To see how far Will had to come, though, as a big man, they tend at this level to develop a, a little bit later. But to see him put in that work and to see him get rewarded this year with really a, a huge season. Uh, you saw that transformation. What was that like, uh, seeing that take place over four years? Yeah, and uh, I can't even quantify what Will did for us this year, you know, um, with his defensive ability, uh, blocking all the shots. You know, that's just something you can't teach. That's intangible stuff, defense, uh, rebounding. Um, but, yeah, what the Will's growth is amazing. Uh, Kendall says it all the time when we came in, uh, Will can walk and chew gum at the same time. <laughs> you know, and now to see him, he's out here dunking on people, catching out of use, uh, blocking shots into the third row. It's just so fun to see because, you know, he had to work on that. That wasn't just given to him. He, you know, put the work in early morning, late nights and with the coaches and on his own time. And it's just, you know, he deserves everything he got this year. The journey here is never easy for a student athlete. I mean, you had to overcome some adversity during your time here. As a person, how much did overcoming some of that adversity, because basketball was taken away from you mm -hmm. for a little while, how much did you grow and overcome that adversity to be able to complete this journey that you're going to here upon graduation in a couple of months? Uh, yeah, uh, that's probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my life because, you know, basketball is all I've known for 22 years of my life. 
and not to have it for that year is kind of, you know, depressing. And, uh, you know, there's times I wanted to quit, but being able to get through that and come back and finish the way I finished, you know, that taught me a life lesson that I can carry throughout any hardship I face in my life. And, you know, um, just that you can get through anything, whether how bad it, no matter how bad it is. And, um, you know, you don't want to have to learn from mistakes, but that was a mistake I definitely learned from and I definitely grew from. So I'm appreciate, I appreciate the fact that I went through that. I wish I didn't have to, but, you know, I'm very grateful for the fact that I was able to learn those lessons from it. Do you see basketball as part of your future down the road? I, I do. I still do. I still have um, hopes and aspirations um, continuing after this. You know, I know I have to serve a commitment, but I'm still not giving up on my dream of playing professional basketball. Plus, you, you've got an opportunity. You played with a, a terrific AAU program, and I'm sure you guys get together, you know, some. And at some point, do you see yourself, you know, maybe trying to mentor some of those young ballers to, to take advantage of the opportunity and the vehicle that basketball can be, for, especially for some of them, to get out of some of the communities right. that some of these kids that you've played with. I mean, you've played with some of these kids that don't come from the best of communities. Right. Do you hope to one day maybe be able to go back and maybe mentor some of those kids to, to use basketball as a vehicle to better themselves uh, like you and obviously some of your other uh, fellow student athletes? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, every, every summer I, if I get an opportunity, I try to go back and uh, help out at clinics and um, basketball camps of you know, people I used to play with, coaches that used to coach me, and just talk to kids, you know, just f for that same exact example, you know, um, being able to use basketball for more than just getting to the NBA, you know, because not everyone can do that. Um, but being able to use basketball to get a four-year education and get a degree and, like, set yourself up for life after basketball, after the ball stops bouncing. So I definitely, throughout my life, I want to be able to go back and, talk to kids, you know, I still, I have kids right now I talk to on like, you know, weekly, um, monthly basis that just trying to help them um, on that process. Um, so yeah, that's definitely in my future. I definitely want to keep doing that. Have you imagined what that feeling's going to be like in a couple of months from probably what's going to be a really warm Friday afternoon <laughs> at Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium and, and they uh, announce your name as you walk across that stage and uh, you get, let's face it, a, a degree that not... Uh, not everybody can get. Have you thought about what that moment uh, is going to be like and what that accomplishment will be? Uh, no, I haven't not thought about it too much because, you know, it's so close but so far away. You know, there's still a lot of stuff I have to take care of if I want to get to that point, you know, two months down the road. But I know that getting that degree, um, going through the four years here, just holding that will be, you know, one of the proudest moments I've ever had in my life, you know. And I don't even want to think about it yet, but it's just going to be such an amazing experience uh, walking across that stage. Yeah, no doubt about it. Appreciate your time over the past four years. Wish you the best of luck uh, as a member of the fleet uh, and even in future basketball endeavors, and uh, don't be a stranger. Thank you, Pete. Thank all you. right. Tillman Dunbar joining us here on the Navy Sports Magazine. As always, for information on all 33 varsity sports here at the Naval Academy, you can check them out at www.navysports.com.